ready for this, fam? I'm ready for a taco tournament 2017 HD. <laughs> It's gonna be a maze, buds. First stop, arguably the most famous San Jose taqueria. Not, not the best. We're gonna find out. Yeah. Not the one where the guy. Not, not world star hip hop. <laughs> not him <not> sleepy. He's <laughs> not him sleepy. Stop number one, Mob makes number two. <laughs> yes. And Jerry has to go number one. And possibly number two. Stop two. The very uniquely named. Stop number two. Mexico. Uh, <laughs> Bakery, Mexico. The two holes in the, Bakery, in the wall. What do you want to eat for dinner tonight? <laughs> Where are we going now? We are going to La Haiba, the place that we kind of discovered a couple of weeks ago, uh, almost like a month ago. Nostalgia Taco. Nostalgia. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo. Oh, this is where we went with Bob. De contrabando. Taqueria Los Pericos number number three. This is stop number three. This feels like it's taking forever. Been two hours so far. This is called Taqueria Mordida. As you can see, the sun is rapidly setting. Yes. Taco time is nigh. <laughs> We should totally add Taco Bell to this list. We should get sponsored by all these. I know, right? We should be getting this for free, but no. We can support the local economy. Las Delicias del Mero Mero. You want to get enchilada? <laughs> I don't know. What do you want? Los Corazones. Okay, I'm ready. This is taco number one. The meat's a little dry. That's about all I can say. You ready for taco number two? Ready for taco number two. How to, by far, number one. Second I'm getting taco. meat all over the place here. Oh, by the way, it took us three hours to get all of these tacos. Mmm, that's good. Yeah? It's very peppery. Yeah, there was some sauce on that. <laughs> Mm. And Chevelle's, by the way, is beer mixed with lime. And salt. And salt it's the best rim, thing ever. And tahini. Mm, tahini. Pepper. Okay. Can't forget the tahini. You ready? Taco number four. Here we go. I'm glad you keep and try. Taco number four. A lot more flavor in the meat. By the way, this is the closest I'm going to get to uh, 100 tacos for $100. I set up a hundred tacos for a hundred dollars campaign to provide adequate sustenance for a Dr. Who marathon. I asked for donations, a dollar each. Tried to reach a hundred dollars to get a hundred tacos. But I think I reached up to like 60 bucks and I was too scared to do it. That was really dry. The tortillas are good. Taco number six. You can definitely taste the lard that was cooked in. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that that taco number seven is a lot more dita. Which, because I've seen it. I wanna say that one from Mero Mero. I think I can taste the bean in there. I'm gonna go with number seven. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Like that lard? I love that lard. Don't squeeze. Seasons here, so nice. One great thing about eating yeah. tacos is the smell of your hand. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're down to um, the, the smell of your hands. final four. 
Final four, baby! And I don't know what number of tacos these are you anymore. You got Patrick Ewing and Larry Bird. You got Shaq and Horace Grant. Patrick Ewing. Okay. That is a raw tortilla. Mm, I prefer tortillas to be oiled up or buttered or in lard. Tacos are delicious. For the second one, I'm ready. <sighs> mm, I think that one's from Mero Mero. I can taste a little bit of the seafood oil. Mm. You ready? I thought I eliminated that one. Okay. What? Pelicans. Second one. That's more pure of a taco right there. <laughs> pure all. Alright, last two. Down to the final. I think that was just the last taco I had. I had two thirty-two times. <laughs> The final countdown. First one. First one? First one. Is the you winner. wanna know who the winner is? Can I take my mask off? Yeah, you ready? First one. Los Perritos! Los Perritos! Always a solid choice! Always a solid choice! Always a solid choice! Woo! Oh! The final two! My top two preferences. Really? Talake Pake was the was the runner up. Nice. Wunderbar. This is the veggie version from all the same places that we've got the carne asada ones. Western Conference versus Eastern Conference. <laughs> West Coast. All I'm right. excited to get some flatulence. I just say veggie taco, but whatever they gave. Is 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 what we're is what we're putting up to bat here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mmm. It's really good. Just really good? Mm-hmm. I would eat that. Taco number two. It's obviously a corn tortilla and some beans. There's not it's Lacking a little flavor, like it needs some pizzazz and not in a spicy way. Mmm. Yeah, that one for sure. That one for sure, huh? Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Because it has deliciousness on it. it. has guac on it, right? You tell me. <laughs> I think so. Can... Wash your hands. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That one is way better. It, it all works together, all the flavors combine. Tiny bit of spiciness. Bracket number two, taco number three. I honestly find that bean tacos never disappoint. Just squishing over the toppings. So I hear, I all. hear the juiciness. There's something different about that. I don't know what it is. It tastes like meat, but I like the lettuce. It has like an earthy taste. Earthy taste? <laughs> if I may. Can we do this every night? Every night. To be honest, I don't really like either of those. Oh, come on. I don't know, but I'm going to, I mean, obviously I'm going to compare. Um, I mean, no, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't kick either of them out of bed. You know what I'm saying? But I would probably go first one. Really? Yeah, the second one was a little, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't understand. It tastes like dog food, kind of. Okay. Not that there's anything wrong with eating dog food. I feel you. And I'm sorry to whatever taqueria that was. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred dollars. All right, here we go. Please, sir. More. That one is so good. What makes it good? It's guacamole. But it's a little spicy for my personal taste, but somehow that enhances the flavor on this one. That one tastes really good. All right, next one up in the- And the tortilla is underneath like a solid, firm foundation, a supportive bolster, if you will. Holding up the beans of the world. Behind every good bean is a good tortilla. Mmm. Mm. Those are both really um oh that's really nice. It, 
It has a, a deep oaky flavor. I think it has some meat in there. That's a really tough choice. I'm gonna have to go with first. But I fear it's just because there's guacamole. So number two, yeah, on its own, it's really, really good. But what would I prefer to eat? Number one. But I've been to almost all these places and had amazing food and experiences at every single one of them, so. Do you remember which is the worst one we've been to? I can't speak of that. We, are, we never speak ill of taquerias. That's against, that's against the uh, Mexican pattern. Jerry wanted this to be an hour long special. Well, it pretty much is. <laughs> Oh, Marty, uh. <laughs> ah. Mmm. That's really nice. It tastes like a campfire. A campfire. Mm-hmm. Campfire tacos, folks. Folks? <laughs> Are you in Barack Obama now? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> for our next taco. Mmm. I really like that one. Whatever that one was. A taco? Because it's like, oh, but it has a bad aftertaste. I'm not sure. Oh. It's like coming home from a campfire. <laughs> it's a different it's, experience. It's the cousin to crying while eating. Yeah, our women laughing with salads. Yes. Random people blindfolded with tacos. Alright, last one. Kind of kinky. Alright. That one. Mmm. That one is so good. It has lime. It tastes limey. Mmm. That one for sure. For sure. That was quick. Mm hmm Like I said, I'm down with all of these. We can all be buds. If, if, if by buddy you mean I eat you, then yeah, we can be buds. Final four. <laughs> now it just sounds like I'm singing. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm It's a very solid taco. It's like... Hello, nice to meet you. I'm a taco. I'm getting so full. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> that one was so full. What? Number two. Number two? Oh yeah, definitely. It tastes like charbroiled beans. That second one is, is very nice. It tastes like a kebab of taco. Kebab of tacos? Mm-hmm. Taco kebab. Ready for your face. <laughs> that one is really nice. It's a little on the spicy side for me personally. You're consistent with what you're calling out. This, uh, okay, hold um, on. I got a lot. Of, I got a lot of stuff going on in here. Mmm. I know that one. That, that one. one for sure. So good. Which one? That one. For sure. Ten thousand percent sure. I'm full. All right, here we go. Really good. I mean, very solid choice. The beans are a little mushy. I will say that. Tacos are a couple hours old by now. <laughs> I'm gonna do a That's a fair point, Jer. A log, like an earthy feeling to it. Like you're just eating bark off the tree. This is the final. If you were to live on an island, all by yourself and have one taqueria, which one would it be? Mm. First or second? I'm definitely, definitely gonna go with number two!